How do you know you have electrical capture? And the way you know you have electrical capture is when you have increased your milliamps to the point that you have a pacer spike followed by a QRS, which is followed by a broad T wave, which is tall. So we want to see a pacer spike, wide QRS, followed by a broad tall T wave. So we're going to slowly increase our milliamps. That's the amount of energy you're delivering to the patient until you see that uh, pattern uh, of the EKG on your monitor. Right, so no capture. So now at 75, I see that I do have capture. I have that QRS followed by a broad tall T wave. I'm going to go down five. Right, I lose my capture. I'm going to go back to 75. This way I know I have electrical capture. So if I'm going to document on my uh, paperwork, on my ACR, what I'm going to say is that uh, I have evidence of um, electrical capture by a patient spike, QRS complex, and a tall, broad T wave for every single uh, pulsation that I have, right? And it's at 60 pulsations per minute that I have set this patient to. I can also print a, a rhythm strip and it will show me, right, a static representation of electrical capture. So here you see a strip. And you notice that you have a pacer spike followed by a QRS complex with a tall, broad T wave. This tells me that the ventricles have both depolarized and repolarized. It tells me that the ventricles are in fact contracting here on the ECG monitor. Uh, and this will entail electrical capture.